Hi guys. I feel like it has been forever since I've filmed. I have not filmed anything in a long time. So if this is video is kind of rough. It's been like, how long has it been since my last market? A couple weeks, a month, I don't know. Anyway, I wanted to show you what I have been busy market prepping for my biggest market ever at the end of this month, November. Um, I have about three weeks, less than three weeks now until that market and I have a ton to do still, but I have been busy and a lot of it has been on my own patterns, which it makes it even more time consuming and I'm not getting as much done because a lot of it is trial and error, figuring out patterns, writing them down and making the things. So Kayla, uh -huh. Clifford is after your chickens again. Oh my God. Already an interruption and I didn't even get started. This is why I can't film. Our neighbor's dog is a black lab that we actually love. His name is Clifford, but he has a tendency to run away and I am trying to free range our chickens and he likes to chase our chickens and would definitely kill our chickens if given the opportunity. So I'm gonna go try to walk him back to his house so that none of these guys get eaten. Neighbor's dog has been corralled. The chickens are fine. All right back to your regular <laughs> back to your regularly scheduled uh crochet content hi girls what i was going to show you is what i've made for my spirit uh team spirit shelf unit which is what i'm converting this to typically before in my earlier shows i've had up at the top you can't see but up at the top here i've had um my mallards uh my eagles, I've had booty frogs, popping mushrooms, which I still have in here right now, um, turtles. I'm converting this whole thing to team related hey, items. Hey, shh. Um, no, my dear fish are not going to be on here. So let me just show you what I have going on in here. These are all new items. All right, so last video, I showed you this guy. This was my Gen 1 KU Jayhawk. And I made some alterations, and I came up with this guy that I'm going to be selling at the market. So, Lukey, Lukey. Sorry. Okay. Okay, so um, what I wanted to do, I wanted to make him a little bit taller, his head a little bit taller. I also swapped out, this is a Bernat, I don't know the name of this. It's like a, the camera isn't really picking up. It's a navy blue color. I guess it is. Um, and so I swapped out for, I think this is a Bernat Brights color for a brighter blue. Um, I also added eyebrows. I swapped out his eyeballs from just the black to the sparkle blue eyes. These are just from Amazon. And I also made his beak a little different to come up with my final Jayhawk pattern. So I've made one, two, three, four, five K Jayhawks. <laughs> okay, so after the Jayhawks, I wanted to make um, a wildcat pattern. K State Wildcat. Um, and the first thing I did was use the a loaf cat pattern to come up with this guy. And he is super cute, but I felt like he just looked like a kitten with a sweater on, <laughs> which is not exactly what I was. I don't know. He's really cute. I'm still going to make him for sale. But when I made him, I was like, I think I'm going to try to completely redo this. So I made my own pattern to make a Willie the Wildcat. So if you've seen the Willie the Wildcat, if you're not from Kansas, you probably haven't, but um, he has this giant gray, it goes from light gray to dark gray head with these kind of stripes that go in the, the actual one has these kind of stripes that go like this, but I just made some straight white stripes, but I imitated the light to dark gray color pattern with his zero jersey on um, and just made him look more like the actual like guy in the outfit mascot. So I've made one, two, 
two, three, four willies. I should make more of these, but these are a lot more time consuming to make than the Jayhawks. Um, just because of all the color changes and the difference in pattern and the embroidery. But um, if I have more time, I'll make more of these. But right now I have four Willy Wildcats. Um, okay, then I, just last night, I started working on my Missouri Tiger because we are in Eastern Kansas. So we're very close to the Missouri border. So the, the three big teams around our area are KU, K-State, and Mizzou. Um, so I made a Missouri Tiger Cub, and this one I did stick with the loaf cat pattern. So my first one that I made was this guy um, last night, and figuring out all the color changes in this was an, a nightmare. Thankfully, when I made it the second time, it went a lot faster than this one. <laughs> so I made some changes here. This was my first one that I made, and then I went from this. I thought, this is too short. I want to make him bigger. Um... And I wanted to do the tail a little different. Here's the tail. I just kind of extended the six round closing count out and then pinned it up to his body. Um, here is my Gen 2 guy. He has a much smaller nose. He kind of gives hamster vibes. I don't know. I thought about making these two stitches in black, but I just love this cute little X face pattern um, that the loaf cat pattern has. So. I don't know, we'll see. Maybe I'll try one with like a black nose right here, but for right now, here he is. He is bigger than this guy, and I moved his tail up higher on his body. But here he is. I would love to get some fuzzy white yarn to do like the this last little um, round here of white. Would I would love to add the fuzzy white yarn to give it the fuzzy tiger kind of scruff that they have. Um, and I think I'm going to move the bobble stitches back one row so there's a clear uh, markation there of yellow before I start the white feet. But yeah, here he is, the Missouri Tiger. Um, and I only have two of him made, so I need to make a couple more of these guys. I just got this pattern done yesterday. so. Um, and this one I think is going to be my biggest hit. This is Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> So I came up with him with a little pun of a name using the mallard pattern that I have, the same one I kind of used to make my Jayhawk, but I made him a Patrick, so it's just a chick with a fifth, number 15 jersey on, a very uh, crude rendering of the <laughs> Arrowhead logo, and then of course I have added the, his little headband and... Uh, little mohawk hair that he is famous for rocking. Um, the hair on these takes me forever to do. What I've been doing is just using my darning needle and I go into the stitch, make a loop, and then circle around the loop, tie a knot, and then go into the next stitch and do that. And it takes me so long. So I need to, I've recently looked up how to do a loop stitch which I should have done before I ever made these, but I, anyway. Um, so I'm gonna try to make, I try to add hair to the other ones with the loop stitch and see how that goes. I have not tried it yet, but I do have this guy and then I have one, two, three, four other Patricks that I have prepped. Oh, I think I forgot to give him his little goatee, but these other ones have his little tiny goatee. <laughs> But I need to add hair to them. I've just been avoiding it because I don't like doing it. So hopefully I can find a quicker route. Maybe because someone can link a tutorial in the bottom that would be an easy way to add those little loops for hair. I know there's like some um, hedgehog patterns that have that. But I just have yet to find like a non-tedious way of doing that. Maybe there is no way. But anyway, I need to add hair to these patchicks. But I have five of them ready um what else have i made since last time ah, i have made a, a bunch of these with the embroidered eyes this is the loops and knots crochet I made one of these for an order in my last video and since then i have made one two three four five baby safe 
Ooh, I love all their swishy. Swish, 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 swish. Glub, 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 glub. <laughs> I love all their tentacles. So I have five of these guys made. They are gonna go in a baby safe basket. Um, I also have thrown in here two uh, axolotls that I finished that I also did the embroidered smiling eyelash eyes on. So I have these two also I'm going to put in a baby safe basket. Um, so I'll have a couple of options there for people who want to buy things that do not have the safety eyes in them. And I finished my other axolotls. So I have six axolotls total made. Most of them in the C colors since I found that my orange and yellow took forever to sell last time. But I did do one. This is kind of Miami Dolphins. Maybe a Miami Dolphins fan will find this guy. <laughs> but I have four axolotls done with the regular safety eyes. I sell these for 20 a piece. And I believe I'm going to do all of my team, um, all of my team items, 20 a piece as well, um, just to keep them all the same. Even though like these two take me a lot longer to make than this, like I could probably just charge 15 for this, but just for the sake of keeping everything uniform, I feel like pricing him a little, over, a little over what he's worth and pricing these guys a little under what they're worth as far as time-wise goes, um, things will all even out in the end. So yeah, I think these are all gonna be $20, I think. Oh, I have one more team thing I wanted to show you. Okay, so this is just my first one of these that I've made. I'm planning to remake it um, and adjust a few things, but this took me so long to make and it's not like an intricate dragon or anything like that. This is Snowman Andy Reed. <laughs> Again, if you are not in the local to the Kansas area or if you don't watch football, um you might have uh you might have no clue about uh who this is, but this is our Kansas City Chiefs coach as a snowman. Um with his signature mustache, glasses, and ball cap with his headphone earpiece going on. This is, I need to trim. This is an extra little piece, but um, here he is. He is giving very Handmaid's Tale vibes. <laughs> I've never even seen a Handmaid's Tale, um, but I just know I'm envisioning like the Netflix, what you call it, the... um. Is it a thumbnail? What would you call that? The little picture that they use to advertise the show with the girls in their red cloaks and white giant bonnets. That is kind of the, it's the white and red and the very bonnet-ish hat. <laughs> so when I made this guy, I used a base pattern that I kind of shrank down a little bit from, I think it was Wonder Crochet. She has a free, um, snowman tutorial or pattern on her blog that I kind of adjusted but mainly used for the head and body um and then I watched a couple of other things to do the ball cap I found one tutorial for like a doll's ball cap but it was using worsted weight yarn and so all of the yarn counts were different for mine and so I made I made way too many stitches for the base of his uh, hat brim. And so I ended up getting this very elongated, like I need to shrink the ball cap down by about four stitches. <laughs> um, but yeah, so he is a work in progress, but this took me forever, like an entire afternoon and evening. I was working and adjusting and sewing it was a lot of sewing, sewed on the mustache, um, sewing, embroidering on the glasses. The glasses really didn't take long. What took forever was figuring out the hat and then making all the pieces for the earpiece. And I haven't even made the scarf yet. So yeah, this is one I want to make more of. He is probably going to be like 35 maybe because he's a little bit bigger than, you know, He's 20. 
he's he's way bigger and also has a lot of sewing and more detail on him. So um this guy Andy I I want to I don't know what I should call him. Snow Reed Coach Reed, Snowman, I don't know. I don't have a cute pun like I did with Patrick, but uh, he's in process. He's in process. I just haven't wanted to sit down and take the time to make another one of these. <laughs> anyway, okay, the rest of the stuff I have to show you that I've prepped are things that I've already sold at previous markets. Okay, quickly, my husband and I are leaving really quick to run to look at a property, um, but I wanted to show you I've prepped one, two, three, four, four, is that it? Four chickens. <laughs> I feel like there's more that I'm missing. Maybe not. I don't know. And I made one chicken testing him out with a little Santa hat. So I think I'm gonna have a couple Santa chickens um, going on. These, I haven't decided if I'm going to put combs or Santa hats on. So they're just kind of a little bald right now, but um, chickens, including some Santa chickens, are coming. I'm going to have a whole separate video where I go over some of the winter Christmas-themed items that I'm planning to make. And then also, I've just made a couple more pigs. This guy, I totally messed up on body count. Look how much shorter. <laughs> it's like he's been stuck in a compression machine. <laughs> Poor guy. This guy is much more, uh, uh, proportionate. Proportional? Proportional than this poor guy who's gotten squished flat. And I need to add their little nostrils, but I did make a couple more pigs. This guy also, he might go in my wonky bin because I also just tested crocheting his ears in the round and these ears look way better. So yeah. he's a wonky bin make, I think. All right, it is far later in the day than when I first started recording. So the lighting is horrible, but I just wanted to make a quick wrap up. <laughs> Close. Sorry, the chaos. My family is all watching football in the living room. I'm planning to do one more video before my market recap, going over some of the holiday themed makes, Christmas trees, snowmen. I might make a Yeti pattern. Um, maybe I'll talk more about other patterns I'm planning on making or trying out. Um, I still haven't made the pattern for my fox yet to put on sale. I've just been doing other things. Anyway, um, so yeah, I will hopefully get out another video here in a couple weeks with some of those updates. Um, but until then, I guess I will talk to you next time. Bye.